Hello and welcome to our channel. Eclectic Classes. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of safety integrity levels or SIL. Whether you're an engineer, a safety enthusiast, or just someone curious about how industries keep things safe, this video is for you. Before moving to main topic we will learn few other related terms. First, let's talk about functional safety. It's like having a reliable friend who always has your back, ensuring everything runs smoothly and safely. In technical terms, it's the part of a system that depends on the correct functioning of safety-related systems to prevent accidents. Next up, Safety Instrumented Systems. A Safety Instrumented System, SIS, is a crucial component of industrial safety management, designed to monitor and control the operational conditions of a process. Its primary function is to ensure safety by automatically taking action to bring the process to a safe state when predetermined safety parameters are exceeded. This could involve shutting down equipment, isolating hazardous substances, or activating emergency systems to prevent accidents, such as leaks, fires, or explosions. In simple terms, think of SIS as your personal safety net, ready to catch you if something goes wrong. It's designed to take a process to a safe state when certain conditions are met like an emergency shutdown system. Safety Instrumented Functions, SIF, are specific functions within a Safety Instrumented System, SIS, designed to prevent or mitigate hazardous situations. Each SIF is tailored to respond to certain dangerous conditions, such as shutting down a system if it detects unsafe operating parameters. Safety integrity measures the reliability of a safety system to perform its necessary safety functions under all specified conditions. Safety integrity is all about ensuring that safety functions perform correctly when needed. Each safety instrumented function, or SIF, is like a mini superhero within the safety instrumented system, tasked with specific safety duties, like preventing a machine from overheating. Now, onto the main event. Safety Integrity Levels, or SIL. It is a measure of how well a safety system performs, rated from SIL 1 to SIL 4. The higher the SIL, the lower the probability of failure, but also the more complex and costly the system. Let's break down the SIL levels. Each level represents a range of risk reduction and probability of failure on demand, PFD. Before we move on here are simple one-line definitions and explanations for probability of failure on demand, PFD, and risk reduction factor, RRF, along with their value meanings. Probability of failure on demand, PFD, it quantifies the likelihood that a safety system will fail to activate when required, with lower values indicating higher reliability. A PFD value of 0.1, or 10% means that there is a 10% chance the system will fail to perform its safety function when needed. Risk Reduction Factor, RRF. It measures how much a safety system reduces the risk of a hazardous event, calculated as the ratio of the risk without the system to the risk with it. An RRF of 10 to 100 means the safety system reduces the risk by a factor of 10 to 100 times, indicating a significant improvement in safety. SIL-1. This is the entry-level safety, like a sturdy bicycle. It offers a risk reduction factor, RRF, of 10 to 100, meaning it reduces risk by up to 90%. SIL-2. Think of this as your family car. It provides a moderate level of safety with an RRF of 100 to 1000, reducing risk by up to 99.9%. SIL-3. This is your high-end SUV, equipped with advanced safety features. It offers an RRF of 1,000 to 10,000, reducing risk by up to 99.99%. SIL-4. Finally, the armored tank of safety levels. SIL-4 provides the highest safety with an RRF of 10,000 to 100,000 reducing risk by up to 99.999%. However, it's rarely used in practice due to its complexity and cost. Imagine a large chemical plant where a pressure vessel is used to store volatile gases. This vessel is crucial for the plant's operations, but it poses significant risks if not properly managed. If the pressure inside the vessel exceeds safe limits due to a malfunction or process upset, it could lead to catastrophic failure, resulting in an explosion or toxic release. 
To prevent such disasters, the plant employs a safety instrumented system, SIS, equipped with a safety instrumented function, SIF. Here's how it works. Detection. The system includes pressure sensors that continuously monitor the vessel's internal pressure. These sensors are highly reliable and calibrated to detect even slight deviations from normal pressure levels. Decision. When the pressure approaches a critical threshold, the logic solver within the SIS evaluates the data. It determines whether the situation requires intervention based on preset safety parameters. Action. If the pressure is deemed too high, the SIF activates a series of actions. This might include opening a relief valve to safely vent excess pressure into a flare system or a containment area, thereby reducing the pressure within the vessel. Outcome. By venting the pressure safely, the cyst prevents the vessel from reaching a point where it could rupture or explode. This proactive approach not only protects the plant and its workers but also minimizes environmental impact. In essence, the CIS acts like a vigilant superhero, always on guard to defuse potential ticking time bombs before they can cause harm. Thanks for joining us on this safety journey. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into safety and technology. Have questions about SIL or safety systems? Drop them in the comments below. Stay safe and see you next time.